Hello and welcome to today's video where we shall be discussing in details the Green Shields Macroscopic Stream Model. The parameters of the Macroscopic Stream Models are 1. Flow Rate which we shall denote by the letter Q and the flow rate is nothing but what? Number of vehicles passing through a particular position on the road by any time and density we shall denote with the, the Greek letter rho and, the, and density is nothing but what? Number of vehicles per unit distance at a given time and the last parameter there is speed which we shall denote with V and speed is nothing but what? The rate of change of position per unit time. Now, these parameters flow rate, density, and speed have the relationship that Q is equal to rho V. We call this equation 1. That the flow rate is equal to the product of density and speed. Now, macroscopic stream models represent how the behavior of one parameter of traffic flow changes with respect to another. The most important relation is the one between speed V and density and density rho. The first and most simple relation between speed and density is proposed by Green Shield. Green Shield assume a linear speed density relationship which is given by the equation v equal to vf minus vf rho j rho we call this equation 2 where of course v here is the mean speed or the average speed at density rho vf here is the free flow speed and of course, the free flow speed is attained when the density is zero. And this makes sense because when the density rho is zero, it means that there are no vehicles on the highway or on the road. And of course, so if there are no vehicles on the road, then at that point, the speed is attained at, as VF. The free flow speed is attained at that point where rho is zero. Because if you find any vehicle on that road at that particular time, the vehicle can be at its maximum speed, which we call here the free speed VF. The rho j here is the jam density. And of course, at the jam density, the mean speed is zero. At jam density rho j, we are saying that the, the, that the road is occupied in such a way that no vehicles are moving. So at jam condition, the speed of vehicles is nothing but what? Zero. Now, this linear relationship can be visualized. From the graph, it is clear that when density is zero, the free flow speed is attained. And of course, where the speed is zero, the density, the jam density is also achieved. So this is the linear relationship between the speed and the density of the green shield model. Once the relation between speed and density is established, the relation between flow and density can also be established. This relation between flow and density is vertically downward parabolic in shape. So here is the flow and density. So we say that, that the shape of this graph is what is vertically downward you know, para parabolic. Now, since this graph you know, is vertically downward parabola, is a vertically downward parabola, it follows that there exists a maximum point somewhere here of course it must exist a maximum point somewhere here and of course this point here corresponds to the point where flow is maximum where flow is maximum so the maximum point on this graph represents the point where flow is maximum since we have our flow this way and density this other way now if since we have that flow is maximum at this point it would be interesting to also determine at what density 
does the, does the flow become maximum? So if you want to look at this from the angle of calculus, it is, it is equivalent to saying we want to find a critical value at this point. So if the flow is maximum at this point on the graph, then at what point or, or at what density value is that flow maximum? And that is what we want to achieve now using our sense of calculus. So recall from equation one that the flow rate is equal to the product of density and speed. Now, if we substitute the Green Shields model, which is this, V equal to free flow minus this product into this equation. So in place of V, we are now writing the whole of this. We now get that Q, the flow rate, is equal to the whole of this thing, which I shall call equation 3. Now, if we differentiate this function 3, the equation 3, so if we differentiate the Q with respect to rho, we get Vf minus 2 into Vf over rho j times rho. Now, to get the critical value, because we want to know at what density is flow rate maximum, and that is equivalent to finding the critical value of this function, of this equation. So, to get the critical value of this equation, what do we do? We set this first de de derivative from calculus to what? To zero. Now, if we set the Q over the rho to zero, what happens? So, we observe that this first derivative, the Q, the rho, will be zero when rho is equal to rho j over two. So, if we replace rho here with rho j over two, then the Q, the rho, becomes zero, which means that rho equal to rho j over two becomes a critical value. So we are, so this implies that at this point, rho, rho j over two, the first derivative is what is zero. So what do we conclude from here? Hence, we are saying that the flow rate Q is maximum when the density rho is equal to what? Half of the jam density. Of course, this makes practical sense. Let us see how. At this point, the density is zero as well as what? The flow rate. Now, as the density begins to increase, the flow rate also begins to increase, of course. Now, the flow rate gets to a point, as the density keeps increasing towards jam density, it means that there are, there are, there are more vehicles on the road. It gets to a point that the flow rate will now begin to reduce. Since there are more vehicles on the road, it gets to a point that the flow rate begins to come down too. Therefore, there must be a point then where the flow rate is maximum. And from the analysis we have conducted here, we have carried out here, we observe that the flow rate is only maximum when the density is half of the jam density. So what we get from here is that the flow rate is maximum when the jam de when the density is what? Jam density over 2. So that's the first relationship we have gotten from here. Similarly, we can establish a relationship between speed and flow. From Q equal to rho V. If we make rho the subject of formula, that becomes rho equal to what? Q over V. If we substitute rho equal to Q over V into the green shield model, we have the following. The green shield model is this once again. So if we replace in place of rho, we now write Q over V. Then we now get the we get that Q is equal to the jam density times V minus this product. Now, similarly, if we differentiate the Q over the V equal, equal and set it to zero, we'll observe that this becomes zero where V is what? V free flow density, free flow speed over two. And um, of course, again, equation four is another parabola. So again, we have seen here that in terms of speed and flow, that the maximum flow is again obtained when the speed is what half of the free flow speed. So we have gotten two relationships, you know, with the maximum flow. The first one is that we have seen that the maximum flow Q max occurs where the jam density is halved. And we have seen again that the maximum flow will occur when the free flow density is 2.
is half also beg your pardon so at this point we want to now derive an expression for q max again we have that our q is equal to what rho v rho v so that if we substitute our green shield model again for v we have the following however we have established already that the maximum flow rate is attained when the jump density is halved. Therefore, if we replace the density here with the jump with half of the jump density, so in place of rho, if we now write rho jump over two, what do we get? We now get that. Now, of course, at rho max at rho jump over two, the flow rate becomes maximum. So when we replace rho with rho max with uh, with rho jump over two then Q becomes max. So Q becomes maximum equal to what? Vf rho minus Vf over rho j. We replace it. This becomes what? Rho jump squared over what? 4. So that if we simplify this, this equation, we arrive at Q max is equal to what? Vf rho jump over 4. We can split this into two parts as what vf over 2 times what rho jam over 2. We can see now clearly that the maximum flow rate occurs at the product of the averages of what the free flow and what the jam density. So, in our next video, we shall solve a numerical problem where we demonstrate how these formulae are all applied in solving problems that involve the green shield model. So, I suggest that if you have not already subscribed to this channel, you do so now, so you can never miss any of our updates. Thank you.